What's going on, guys? It's your boy Andy Matrix, and boy, oh boy, this is interesting. This is really, really interesting because um, you know, I, I've I've never heard of Japan actually canceling games. I don't think Japan is known for canceling games at all, or like, or banning games and things like that. You know, you know, because they have a lot of creative freedom. But anyways, uh, it says here, I'm actually a video game chronicles. Dot com it says Kalisto Protocol cancelled in Japan after developers decides against cuts. Right, he says we have determined that the game cannot pass the C E R O rating in its current state. And by the way, by the way, in case you don't know what the C E R O rating is, it is basically the computer entertainment rating organization video game. You know those symbols at the bottom of your video games? That that's basically what it is. They rate your video games. And uh, so let's go ahead and dive in. But before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell for future notifications. Guys, I talk about anime, manga, video games, geek culture, Japanese culture. If you're into any of that stuff, then make sure to subscribe. Now on with the show. Okay, so it says Kalisto Protocol has been canceled in Japan after its developers determined it will not be able to get a rating for the game, for the game without cuts. Right, so they had to cut out, cut out parts of the game because of it was too violent. Right, which I think is kind of stupid. It's kind of stupid. But anyways, I'll, I'll talk about that later. Let's go ahead and uh, read up on this. It says, We have decided to discontinue the Japanese version of the uh, Kalisto Protocol. The game official social media account state, uh, stated on Wednesday, said we have determined that the game cannot pass the CERO rating in its current state. And the ch in changing the content will not provide the experiences that players expect. Absolutely right. It says, we would appreciate you, your understanding in Japan. It says the account concluded by stating that it would provide refunds to those who had pre-ordered the title. At least you're getting your money back. You better get your money back. Shoot. Right. And then this is this. I actually found this very interesting down here. It says it is also important to understand that sometimes Japanese games, Japanese games get two releases, one, one cut and one gory version. Right, so they get you know the uh, uncut version with all the blood, gore, and all that shit, and then the cut version. It says the co the gory version typically sells better. Oh, gee, I wonder why. It says the problem is that the gory version, which usually carries CRL restrictive Z Z rating for ages 18 and up, uh, is also censored when compared with the Western releases. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? I mean, if you thought our if you thought our stuff is censored, what the Japanese consider censored, it's it's kind of like silly. <laughs> what they consider censorship in Japan is kind of silly, um, because like here they want to they want to try and change like everything. Like if there's a violent scene, you gotta change up every you know everything about it. If a girl has, if a girl's titties are big, are too big, you gotta shrink her tits and cover her up. You know, like we were back in the 1950s and shit, right? And in Japan, the censorship, it's they censor, but it's not like that. So their censorship is actually, I guess, you would actually enjoy it better than ours. Let's let's just put it that way. Said so in other words, avoid the Japanese version of such games at all costs. They are always censored. Eh, yeah, right. The American versions are worse. Come on, man. But I think it's absolutely ridiculous to like censor games because of the violence. Because look, these games are made for adults, 18 and over. So if you are unable to handle the gory scenes and stuff, then you should not be playing the game. Right? And it's like, yeah, everything needs to have a rating. But I think the most important thing to do is to, is to make sure that it stays away from kids that are underage. If you're under 18, if you're 18 and under, you should not have access to this game whatsoever. You should not buy a copy. But if you're over 18, then there shouldn't be really any restriction. You should consume, play whatever game you want, no matter what kind of scenes it has. Because it's a video game. It's made for fun. And whether it's a sex scene or a violent scene, you're an adult. You're supposed to be able to handle these things. If not, don't buy the game. But hey, you know, I'm just an American dude trying to throw some common sense there. Whatever your thoughts are, make sure to comment below. Sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell for future notifications. Guys, this is your boy Andy Matrix. Thanks for watching and listening. And Godspeed.